Development Associations and Community Development Committees in Lagos State are not only initiating policy programs that affect the life of their members, they are also partnering with the state governments to protect public infrastructures in their various constituents. Welcome to another episode of Lagos Community Updates. I am Adejoke Shodendi Adeyoju. How is your community faring today? Let's see. Residents of Makoko CDA have joined other community development associations in Lagos State to appreciate Governor Babajide Sonwolu for attending to their plight via the ongoing rehabilitation of 377 roads in the state. Recently, men of the Lagos State Public Works Corporation took their tools to Olaiya Street in Makoko community in a bid to address their long-waited solution on one of their roads. Every community has its unique story to tell about the lifestyle of its people. Makoko people are industrious and accommodating. No wonder its residents cut across different religious and ethnic groups. Makoko community is a place we should be proud of. Anywhere you live, Around Maoko, going to any corner in within the Lagos state. Maoko, transport is easy to go to anywhere. Food is in abundance. There are cheaper things to buy fish, gary, anything you think about. Once a time, Maoko have had bad impression. But now coming to Maoko, you will see that Maoko is a developed place, which many people are looking to come in and be living there. Makoko people are very enterprising. Uh, they do their work conscientiously. You see virtually every one of them going from one place to another to earn their daily bread. So they, I can say they are very energetic and they are up and doing. My community in Lagos State today is the most peaceful area in the community of Lagos State because we've called all the activities of those hoodlums for like eight years ago. So we have everything in total. The security is at a lot. When any problem, we deal with them. Until now, we are very peaceful here. Makoko houses the popular Ashejere fish market known as the heartbeat of fresh fish in Lagos State. They have common life because when it comes to Makoko Day, you see every one of them like one family. They are never segregated at all. So they have one thing in common that is fishing. Fishing is very laudable hand work here in uh, Makoko community. Uh, that is why you see everybody from far and near coming to Makoko to buy fish and. Uh, they take it as their major, uh, major work here. Inside Makoko CDA is Olaya Street, which is regarded as home of the Makoko landowners. Olaya Street happens to be the name of the old woman that uh, bought Makoko land from the Onido of Ido in Lagos State here. And uh, as you can see, 
Uh, it happens to be the longest street in Makoko here. And uh, we have a lot of people residing here from different ethnic groups. We have Igbos, we have Ijos, we have the Aousas, we have Egun uh, staying here, we have the Jebus, you just name it. They are all clustered here. Ola Aya Street links roads connecting other important areas in Makoko and its environs. Its location is very strategic in the congesting traffic along major roads in the community. From the beginning there, we have Apollo Street, which is the main link from Makoko to Adekunle and uh, to Herbert Macaulay Street. And uh, at the end here, you can see the Celestial Church at our back here. So that one takes us to Iwaya, uh, another community in Yaba. So it's a very good street that links uh, Makoko with uh, Iwaya community. The street is flanked by two historically significant religious houses, the Makoko Central Mosque, built in the late 1890s, and the national headquarters of the Celestial Church of Christ in Nigeria. When you can look up this mosque, it has been getting built, founded in 18, 1897. So, and this is the major street of the landowner in Makoko. The road just linked to Church Street back. That's Church Street over there. And this one, they just do it as an alternative. Should be in case if any error at the major street of Church Street. So they can leak to this one and get in by the side of Seller Church. So that's the only things. Residents and traders in the community told Lagos community of this their experience on the road before the state government's intervention. The road was in shambu situation. Anytime it rains, people around there doesn't find it easy at all. All the houses here will be flooded. But now that the road has been constructed, I know Sukho has come to people. They now feel very good, very well, that yes, they are now living comfortable lives. It's somehow difficult. There's a lot of bombs, potholes. It's not that okay. It's not that much at all. But well, presently now, in fact, everything is going smoothly, it's okay, it's perfect. There's no distance for movement to and fro, so you have to wait for it. So it takes long processing before they could pass this. But now, with the achievement of this, they are moving, everything is perfect, and we are okay by it. They were grateful to Governor Sonwo Ulu for heeding to their calls on the road. They also released the experience of smooth movement and the economic benefits the newly rehabilitated road has brought to the community. I feel very, very happy. You know, during my time, good things are coming to uh, Yaba local government. And I give kudos to our governor, Governor Baba J. Sonwulu, for coming down here. He didn't say this is a rural area. He came and he did something marvelously good to the people of Makoko and even Yaba, like he has done this, I know people around there will be very much happy. And you can see them moving around. Now they can walk on barefoot. They are praying for our governor, Governor Sonwo Olu, for doing this for them. The big thanks to the, our executive governor of Lagos State, in respect of uh, Governor Sonwo, because when I heard that they uh, intended to come and do this uh, road, Olaya, I've been up to 50 years and I was born here. And this road, it has been getting spoiled for over 30 something years. And which is uh, in my own tenure. You know, we have the privilege of uh, doing it. So I'm very appreciative to the governor of Lagos State. Four or five months ago, seeing this road, it is not motorable. But now it's motorable that people walk, even children, everybody that go, comes here, they are happy seeing the road. Even this road have linked to uh, Erejua. And now, the way they tied Erejua, 
is the same way. And I love it. If everywhere would be like this, I would be very happy. You can see vehicles flying, Okada, and there are even shop owners here. They feel very uh, happy because of the people coming to purchase whatever they like and the uh, business is booming as ever. Everything is okay. No while I know anything. I will thank God for our governor. May God be with them and all of us. This area is, is a good area. We are doing better here. So no wahala, no anything. The promise to take ownership of the road and ensure members of the community maintain its usage to prevent it from getting damaged in time. We have tried to talk to people. So parking vehicles, we are not necessary. Leaving them abandoned there, we don't want it. So we try to educate people. So, and all the drainage, we try to talk to people to see that if it's waterable, I think the water will not be overflowed to the road. If water starting overflowing to the road, it will be spoiling the road. From Saturdays, sometimes I would, I would call the, the CDA chairman to see that all those roads have been cleared. CDAs are to take charge of government property anywhere. And... Uh, like the CDAs here, when this road has been constructed, I've been telling them they must not allow anything to get this road back to a worse situation. They must see that nobody dig anything across the road. The road must be kept intact so that you not get spoiled. So this road must be maintained by the CDAs and even everybody living in this community, they must see that this road it's not uh, damage. They, however, call the attention of the state government to the drainage along the street, which is begging for proper rehabilitation, as the present one daring may cause damage on the road during the rainy season. God helping him, I mean the whole of Lagos State. Because when someone does well, it will have a ripple effect on the people. And that is why every good citizen of Lagos State should be praying for him that God should grant someone with the wisdom, the courage, and the discernment spirit to be able to make a difference in the lives of Lagos citizens. As light overpowers darkness, so does education illuminate the life of man. To many, education is light to the world. To some, education is power. Education gives foresight to gather intelligence and relate it to the world. To others, it is an essential human right and plays crucial role in human, social, political and economic development. This octogenarian's wealth of knowledge isn't just for academic, but a powerful tool that has changed the narrative of Sukedile community. A development association in Ifako Ijaye local government area of Lagos State. I'm just part of a team. Um, when you become uh, a member of the family, you know, you have to do things along with the dictates of the family. Uh, when I came here in 2009, I was told that there is a, an association, Sokedile Abule Ba Resident Association. I enjoyed going to the meeting, although we were not many at that time. At times we would be five, maybe maximum of eight at the meeting. You know, uh, I, I want the community to be as beautiful as possible, because uh, wherever you live, that is your home. And uh, the, the way you make your home, they say the way you make your bed, that's the way you lie on it. So uh, if I want my colleagues to be visiting me here, I want to try as much as possible to, 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 to join others to make the place beautiful. Emeritus Professor Peter Oluwafemi Adeni 
an indigene in of Ikiti State, but working effortlessly in his community as a squatter for a greater Lagos, is a community champion for today. My name is Professor Peter Olufemi Adeniye, born in Otunja, Ikiti, in the local government in 1939, April 4. I grew up there and I went to secondary school there, Ibiwaba High School. From there, I came to Abiyokuta Grammar School to do my HSC. And then from there, I went to Obafi Mawolo University to read BSc Geography. And I graduated in 1969. From there, I went to Holland to uh, do my uh, postgraduate diploma and master in photo interpretation. Then I came back to University of Lagos as lecturer at two uh, in 1973, August 1st. And I rose to become a professor in 1986. I spent the rest of my time teaching uh, geography, remote sensing, and GIS in University of Lagos. I headed the um, Unilag Council for seven years. I was appointed vice chancellor of Federal University of Technology at Kure. 2002 to 2006. And all along and all along, I became a pro chancellor of University of Adwekiti, uh, pro chancellor of uh, Christland University. Um, and currently, I'm uh, the chairman of the Presidential Technical Committee on Land Reform. And that is what I'm still doing for now. He journeyed into the Center of Excellence in 1965 and settled in Sukedile CDA in 2009. He has contributed immensely to the development of his community and Lagos at large. Prof Adeniyi is our father. He's the father to every one of us. Since he has been here, we've seen a lot of changes, especially from this road. This place was bad before, but now we're thanking God with his help. Everywhere is getting better. In the security session, he has been doing a lot. The money is the one that monitors all the security men, make sure everything is intact. His house is always open for everyone. Whether you are poor, whether you are rich, he doesn't you don't want to discriminate. To him, everyone is one. When he came to this community, he brought with him years of experience in public service and he has come to bear on our programs in this community. Uh, generally, let me say that um, he has brought many into read the community development. We all realize that uh, the government alone cannot do all the things we need. So we must try to do something for ourselves. You can see the paved uh, road on which we are standing right now is due to his effort of governizing this community as one of those things he has done. He made sure that he galvanized everybody, you know, tap into potentials in the community towards community development. He has been a very selfless leader. Why urging others to contribute? He will stand and contribute himself. He has that attitude of bringing in people together. He knows the way, you know, he cajoled you and all this sort of thing, and we so liked him. He has uh, helped us. This place that we're standing on now, we were able to, you know, come together and do this little that we have done so far. So far, up to that end, we have spent nothing less than 10 million. I personally perceived him as someone who does not want to be alone, who does not want to have the goodness alone, or whatever it is, he wants to spread it around everyone. If you are ill, he goes to an extent to make sure, to find out what is it exactly that you need and gives a direction of what is one who gives a direction. He's a motivational person. He motivates someone. You can see this road. He goes inward to make sure that even those who have, he, he, he makes them to release willingly. That's a contribution to some who lose government. He tells them that little drops of water makes mighty ocean. That's what he has done, and that is what has brought us to this level. Adeni's community activities range from human development, capacity building, women and youth empowerment, to advocacy on education that has brought him thus far in life. 
We don't say we will do it alone. We have a very powerful women group. I must say that they are the most powerful group in the community as of today. I often seen the way they organize themselves, we started with the youth. So currently, about seven members of our youth uh, are doing pro uh, program in agriculture in Epe at the moment under the Lagos state government. Uh, the first batch had come back and I'm very proud to say that the best student, those, those of them who graduated is from this community. On our part, the community has put in place um, a scholarship committee uh, whose responsibility will be to identify the needy students and uh, raise funds to be able to uh, assist them. Theresa Mudukbe Adeni has known him for over 50 years. Their marital journey is filled with bliss, having overcome various tests of time. She is supportive of her husband's chosen path to create a greater Lagos through his host community. It's a loving husband, loving father, loving to everybody around him. He's a workaholic man, kind-hearted. He doesn't want people to be sad around her. And he wants everything to be done perfectly. Even when he was in the university, even at times he doesn't come home to sleep. I would take food to him in the office to eat. I couldn't complain because he has always been like that and it's for the good of the people. Every, everybody, every people living in this community is for us. It's not for him alone, or it's not for the family alone, but for everybody to be comfortable. Hard work, service to humanity and him accolades to his feet. The realist has this to say in community development. I will be happy if people can be thoroughly sensitized, that people can be made to understand that, that whatever you do to your community, you are doing it for yourself. And it's usually the legacy because it will be down there. I live for the community. I wish you see me when I was a teacher. I, I was living for my student. Because uh, if one student fails or is not doing well, I feel so concerned, so concerned. And I will go to teach on Sunday morning. I will ask them to come to teach them. Yeah, because <laughs> of what value? No, I have no, I have no choice. I live it, you know, it's my life. <laughs> God says, where you are alive, you are me. If you are dead, you are still me. So what does it mean to me? Um, I'm just doing what I think God asked me to go and do. That's all. I'm not, um, I, can't, I, don't, I can't claim credit for any of those things. Certain things I do, I mean, it's just by his command. I mean, just go out and, and do something for people. Professor Peter Oluwafemi Adini, a community champion for today, implores Lagosians to support Governor Babajide Olushola Songolu in the implementation of his policies for a greater Lagos. I pray for him and I wish that he continue to listen to uh, people. He's a young man and by and large he's trying. If I see the action to things are more pleasing, it's a lot of job for him and I hope he has good advisors. But at the same time, he, may, he must remain faithful and prayerful. Yeah, because God helps all of us and I pray that God will help him. And by God helping him, I mean the whole of Lagos State. Because when all of us were, it will have a ripple effect on the people. And that is why every good citizen of Lagos State should be praying for him that God should grant some of the wisdom, the courage, and the discernment spirit to be able to make a difference in the lives of Lagos citizens. It is not a rocket science. Community that works, people makes it so. So I urge you to go back home, think of what you can do for your community and act. And with that, we wrap up today's episode of Lagos Community Update. Remember, you can join our social media platforms for comments and suggestions. 
and in case you have projects or programs going on in your community, don't hesitate to call the numbers on your screen. I am Ade Joke, Shoda in the Adenyojo. Remember, wherever you are, whatever you do, never ever walk against your community because your community is yours. <laughs>